Laat maar. Bootleg. Welcome fellow KISS fans, welcome to It's All For You Demon, celebrating the fun of being a KISS fan. Tonight, we're headed back to 1992, the era of the VHS bootleg. And back then, our best friend in the world was Peter Arquette. Today, we know Peter Arquette from KISS Museum on the web, but back then, he was a mail-order, one-stop shop for everything fun and everything KISS. And back then, you could sell bootlegs, you could buy videotapes full of KISS clips that are all on the internet now, but this is one of my favorite tapes. Purchased my senior year of high school. This tape contains 1976 Japan, Young Music Show, and The Inner Sanctum from 1980 Australia. And The Inner Sanctum, I have to say, I love Exposed and I love Phantom of the Park, but The Inner Sanctum is probably, bootleg-wise, my all-time favorite KISS clip. It is so special to me and I don't know if it's because of when we saw it, like we were young and fresh in to this whole world of KISS collecting and KISS fandom. I don't know if that has something to do with it or I don't know if it's just the pure beauty and fun of this bootleg because some 30 plus years later I just texted Dan about this and he shares the same feelings I do. There is something magical about the Inner Sanctum, and there's something magical about its place in our lives as fans, and I thought we would talk about that tonight. Now, the first time I ever caught wind of the Inner Sanctum, I didn't even know it was called the Inner Sanctum, and it was on this beauty, Kiss Exposed, the all-time number one best VHS 1980s rock and roll mockumentary Kiss Exposed. And it was that beautiful scene in the archives when the host says, What is this cassette with a kangaroo on it? Oh man, this is great. This is the 1980 Australian Stadium tour. Put on the first song, Detroit Rock City. And I remember watching Exposed nonstop as a 15 year old and loving that Detroit Rock City, that harmony Paul Stanley does. <laughs> And then, as we go further into those archive clips, you got that wonderful guitar solo of Ace. But of course, back then, when I was a freshman in high school, 15 years old, watching this VHS, we had no idea what the Inner Sanctum was. I don't know how we discovered it. I don't know if we actually discovered it through Peter Arquette, or we knew about the Inner Sanctum and ordered the bootleg from Peter Arquette. I'm not sure which came first, the chicken or the egg, but I do know in 1992, we fell in love with the Inner Sanctum. And the Inner Sanctum, although filmed in November in Australia, it's spring at that time, and the wind blowing on the band, that, that breeze of spring air, cemented in our nerd minds and made us believe that Unmasked is a spring album. We have called Unmasked a spring album ever since 1992 watching The Inner Sanctum and it will always remain a spring album in our hearts. And of anything The Inner Sanctum did to us as teenagers and adults was make us love all things Australia Kiss. I mean the Australian Kiss craze lasted what? A year? 1980? 1980 the band was dead in America, but in Australia they were huge. And just even this, the best of the solo albums from Australia, you fall in love with all things Australia, all things Kiss. And that's what we did with the Inner Sanctum. And that is what we're going to talk about tonight. Going to talk about all the fun things myself, Danny, David, Brett, loved of the bootleg from 1992. We are putting the bootleg in the VCR, firing it up, and going back to 1992, my senior year of high school. I was a young lad, 
the world was my oyster, and Inner Sanctum was my sanctuary of fun. <laughs> From its humble beginnings in New York City more than eight years ago, the four-man rock group KISS has become the hottest band in the world. Their history is no overnight success story. It was a planned assault on a lost generation that had no heroes. A larger-than-life fairy tale. A fairy tale that takes us from the depths of our wildest nightmares to the height of our most futuristic dreams. From horror to outer space. Their vehicle is the fiery, rebellious spirit of rock and roll. This is KISS. Welcome to the Inner Sanctum. Teenagers always quoting movies and using movie quotes as dialect in our everyday conversations. We often referred to 2000 Man as this man pronounces it. Amazing up uh, a couple of the effects for the show. Well, which particular effect is this one? Part of the Greg Brace's guitar effect in 2000 Man. 2000 Man?
Hey, Carl, the footloose and fancy-faced fox. Ace Fraley, the rocket ship space captain. Paul Stanley, ruby red, lip-pouting, dancing lover. Gene Simmons, the seven-foot, fire-breathing, blood-dripping, bass-pounding demon. In 1992, I once called Dan, left him a message on his answering machine saying I was coming down to his house and I would arrive like Kiss did in Australia in 1980. And I showed up at his house with a uh, waste paper basket on my head. I never said we were not nerds. Who do you like in Kiss? Gene Simmons. What do you like about him the most? For hanging with me tonight waxing a little 1980 australia rock and roll fun be good to your babies they are nowhere around let's go find them bums absolute bums be good to your babies spay neuter microchip take care be safe we <laughs> We'll talk to you soon.